Hi my friend, today Maxim Vakhilokrov and Richard Rapport played a game in FIDE Grand Prix Lake 2 at Belgorod and this game features very nice pawn structure and shows how important are pawns once again. I have another video about the game of Mamadiorov and Magnus Carlson and uh, always when I see these games I remember the quote of Philidor that says that Pawns are soul of the game. And this game is also no exception uh, and shows how pawns are po powerful and how they can burn the opponent slowly. The game doesn't feature any insane tactic, any sacrifice, anything like that. It slowly but surely um, uh, invite progresses to win. Okay, you know the result. But uh, as the result is not important, the impasse is the important part here. So let's go forward. This is a Grunfeld defense, and let's reach to the critical point of the game and talk about that point. And I like this approach of Richard Rapport. He plays really wild. Rook defends the check. That's crazy. I mean, a normal player plays bishop uh, d2 and defends the check, and then later defends the pawn. But he doesn't want to block his pass to d pawn and just defends the check with the rook. So, pawn push, and here is the critical moment. Before that, notice that black says that okay, white didn't castle, I will push the pawn, I exploit the center and enjoy, and I won't let white to castle. But in return, what creates a past pawn? D pawn is a past pawn right now, and it's not a normal past pawn. Uh, it's a past pawn that is defended. It's not easy to capture this pawn. It's not isolated queen pawn. It's a past pawn that has a defense at them, and defender is a e4 pawn, and you cannot win the e4 pawn because it can be defended with f3. Okay. Here, Maxim had to decide to make a best move of the game, but he failed to do so. He played knight d4. He had to play b5, kicking the bishop away and only then moving the knight forward. What's the difference? Let me go a little bit forward after winning the bishop of white, black is done uh, positionally in a sense that white has a pass pawn, white occupied the uh, open files, open c file, but black has bishop pair and this somehow compensates for the lag. Also, pass pawn of white is not that as strong, it's good, but we cannot push it further, right? It's uh, a stuck in the d5 and cannot go forward without providing heavy defenders from uh, by pieces of white but what happened in the game was not that okay anyway white was better at this position but what happened in the game was that maxim played a tempting move of knight d4 uh, as a beginner now uh, you may take this knight okay then lose the game right this pawn cannot be captured because the rook is undefended or you can sim not simply grab it with the knight because it simply takes your rook with check. So, uh, for a beginner, this is very tempting move, but uh, or a uh, normal player, this might be tempting and they may go wrong uh, with white. But of course, Richard Rapport is no beginner, and he doesn't go wrong at all. He simply defends the rook. Also, you should be careful, you should be alert, for example, if you just uh, castle, for example. Then it's the end of a day, right? Takes the knight, defender of the rook. If you capture back, then rook is gonna. So, white should be very alert, and when Richard Trapport defends the check with the rook, he knows what he's doing. And he returns and defends the rook again, and... Black develops bishop, and here it gives white the chance to exchange the knight and create excellent pawn structure for itself. 
for himself. Look at the bone structure. I just want to do some stupid looking moves just to show you what happens. Uh, it's uh, of course queen is under attack. Look at this bone structure. For example, after some points, if you create such a structure, what can uh, black do against it? This blocks all pieces of black has access uh, to the uh, almost to the seventh string. This pawn structure provides access to the seventh string. It's awesome. So let's go forward and see what happened in the check. Of course, uh, my sim didn't blunder a queen. And then after, oh, here also, my, uh, Maxim couldn't afford retreating the queen. For example, couldn't go there. Of course, attacks the e pawn, but this can be defended easily. And then later, the b pawn is a weakness, also similar as before. We will have a push, f4 push, and creating very strong, uh, let's say, exchanging some pawns, some pieces. Then eventually, b pawn is weak, or if you try to defend the b pawn, you make lots of other weaknesses in the game your rook is bind to the a pawn and should defend it all the time so for that reason Ma maxim couldn't do anything except exchanging and from here is a downhill for um, richard rapport it's very easy play first he defends the e pawn maxim tries to break it but of course there is always this idea of rook c7 and uh, uh, black cannot do anything against it actually a move or two before best move for maxim was to offer exchange but this was uh, not helpful because for example white uh, can move the king and then later exchange everything just exchanging everything is winning for white because white will eventually just let me show you will eventually come close and win, will, will win the deep on and that's the end of the day so and maxim uh, didn't want to do that exchange he defended uh, he attacked the uh, epon but epon can be defended easily and attacks of maxim to the center is not as strong because peace is on the in danger and rook is in the seventh rank and that's basically the end and what can Black do nothing, just uh, shuffling the pieces a little bit. And this is a check, the pawn is going to be queen. And it's not easy to stop this pawn, right? Uh, now rook should uh, stay in the seventh in the eighth rank. Otherwise, for example, if you go somewhere to be greedy, I don't know, it's also there is no good place. Be greedy to attack the e pawn, continue attacking the e pawn. Then, for example, simple move of uh, rook back rank is end of the day. So, um, uh, because takes the rook and then queens the other, um, queens the pawn. So, rook should stay in the back rank, and you see how strong are these pawns. Next comes the next piece to the attack, the bishop. And um, Maxim says, okay, let's at least exchange rooks together. They agree with that. And here, interesting part is that after bishop attacks, uh, bishop defends the the eight square black cannot afford uh, uh, offer exchanging bishops otherwise it was awesome for black right because white simply plays bishop d6 and after rook moves then this is a mate nice mate right with two bishops so of course maxim didn't fall for this simple trap move the king and this gave the Richard Rapport time to push the pawn. Of course, you cannot grab this pawn because then the queen is coming. So it's a free push. And uh, Maxim tried to create counterplay, but the game here is almost losing for Maxim because these two pawns are just too strong to be stopped. And a few move later, Basically, after rook comes to the plate, let's go forward. It's uh, nothing special to talk about. After rook comes to play, there is nothing to play for. And they exchange pair of bishops and give a check, but then 
you cannot stop the back um, pass the pass d pawn and that pawn is queen and at this position actually at this position maximum resigned but if you want to see the continuation this is queen and end of the day you cannot take that bishop yes take care of your pawns be careful about pawn structure a slight uh, mistake in pawn structure could cost you the game so see you next time bye